Hey everyone! So um, this is just going to be a short tutorial today on how to make a photo bracelet. This is the one I started making. I have my kids' pictures in there. You can see it's kind of in the light here. You can see it's got like a hard, clear, glossy surface over it. I don't know if you can see. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to make one of these today. So first you're just going to need one of these little charm bracelets. This is what it looks like without the picture on it. This one I just got from Michaels. It came in a package like this. It's just taped on like this. You can also get them from other craft stores. Um, Hobby Lobby has this brand right here for $2.99. This I just got some square ones to get a different shape. Okay, so first what you want to do is get your bracelet. And you're going to go ahead and print out your pictures. I printed mine. Mine are about an inch wide. I just used my WordPerfect and copied them in and just sized them. Okay, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to get the shape of your picture that's going to go in here. So what I do is I just take a little piece of scrap paper and a pen and I just go ahead and take my, my little shape here and just go with your pen and trace around the edges of the inside. You can see that. And it should give you the shape you need. Like that. And then just go ahead and cut that out. And you will have something like this. Which will now fit right inside. Okay, so what I do is I take this little shape here and my pictures, and what I do is I turn it over and I hold it up to the light and I put my little shape that I cut out, I put it over it like this and hold it up to the light. So you can exactly see where the shape is going to fit over your picture so that you're not drawing, you know, over the picture like this. So I just go ahead and hold it up to the light. I'll do that real quick. Let me find the Okay. So right there, and then what I do is just go ahead and just trace your little template around your picture, like so, and just go ahead and cut it out. So then you'll have your picture like this, which will fit right inside like that. Okay, um, if you are printing your picture just on photo paper like I did, they kind of tend to change the color a little bit of the picture. So you might want to go ahead and either use Mod Podge on your picture or um, use just packing tape and line it and cut it out just so that the image stays like the color you want it. But um, I didn't do that on these so I'll just go ahead and do it the way I did. So the first thing I do is I like to take my picture and put a little bit of glue on the back. I'm just going to use this tape just so that I know that my picture isn't going to move around. I just put a little bit of glue on there and then get your little bracelet and just stick your picture inside there. Stick it where you want it and stick it down. Okay, so the type of material I use to um, fill this in isn't resin, it is this glossy accents. It says it's great for rubber stamping, scrapbooking, and it says it dries to a hard, clear, glossy finish. And it's got a fine tip so that you can um, be really precise with where you line this. So I just got this at my local craft store. Um, I think you can get this at Michael's as well. I'm not sure, but this is what I'm going to go ahead and use. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this and take my picture. And I am just going to follow around the edge here and go all the way around till I get to the middle. So I don't know if you'll be able to see me do that, but here we go. So I just keep following it all the way to the edges. Make sure you keep a continuous flow so that it doesn't get any air bubbles in it. Just keep Filling it in. 
just go all the way around till it fills in the middle. If you miss any spots, just go ahead and fill those in. Missed up there. Okay. Then you should come out with something that looks like this. It's kind of milky looking. And um, the last one I did, I got some bubbles in it. Um, and the trick that I found was I just took a pin and you can go ahead and just like poke it in there and it'll just pop the bubbles. Okay, and then um, this stuff, it only takes about, depending on how thick your layer is, it'll take between 15 and 60 minutes for it to completely harden and dry. So yeah, I just go ahead and let it sit on a flat surface and so that it doesn't like the liquid doesn't run down so it stays level. So yeah, just go ahead and let it dry. And then when you're done, you should come out with something like these so you can see the difference here between the two. Such a cute idea for your grandma or your mom or sister or someone for Christmas. I think it's such a cute idea. I'm going to go ahead and make some of these for my mom and sister um, with pictures of their kids grandkids. Another cute idea would be to just get your stickers and do it as well. Like you can just get these fun square ones and you can get a bunch of different stickers or just even craft paper like scrapbooking paper anything like that it would be so cute. You could even put like little jewels in them or glitter in them. I think it'd be really cute. But yeah. So I hope you like this tutorial and um, let me know if you guys give it a try and I'd love to see what you guys make with this. Alright, have a good day and everyone remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks!